Joe Espada. Yeah. I, so this is what I, I've been saying for a couple of weeks. I think the Astros' new manager is going to be Joe Espada. But the one thing that held me back a little bit is I feel like every time there was some turnover, which I guess is just one time when A.J. Hench went out and Dusty Baker came in, yeah. the talk was Joe Espada was going to get the job. Mm. And he didn't at the time. And he was going out for interviews and, and trying to get hired at other places, and it just wasn't happening. And it didn't make a lot of sense to me because this has always been the perfect fit yeah. for the Houston Astros. So my mind at some point goes to, well, he just must not be interviewing well. Something's going on that he's not able to get a job. And finally, he's able to get it. I love this pickup. I like Joe Espada a lot. He's been a longtime bench coach for the Houston Astros, which I think is important for this team. He knows the players. He knows the culture. I think he's a great mix between analytics and feel. Talk a lot about that. Talked about that with Derek Jeter a couple weeks ago on set. The difference between analytics and feel, you need both, mm -hmm. right? It can't be all analytical, and this is what needs to happen. It can't be all feel. I think there is a, a, a part of the game where analytics are a big part of it, and I think Joe Espada has been the man in waiting for a long, long time for this team, and it is for sure the most appealing job out there, right? This isn't a job that the managerial position became open because, well, the team just sucked, and they fired the manager. No, Dusty just retired at the end of a very, very good Hall of Fame career but he's calling it quits. So you're now stepping into a team and a role that this is like a dream job to take over. Joe Espada gets it done. He had a huge game uh, during the playoffs this year where Dusty Baker got the boot from a game. He got ejected. Didn't want to leave. And Joe Espada made some huge decisions there to lead off, uh, to, to pinch hit Yiner Diaz and then bring in John Singleton. We all know how, you know how that resulted. They ended up coming back and winning that ball game. I like this a lot. I like Joe Espada a lot. The perfect fit for the Houston Astros. It feels like it's been the perfect fit, and it just hadn't happened yet because Dusty Baker stepped in for a couple of years and did a fantastic job. But now is the time for Joe Espada and the Houston Astros, and I think Astros fans and the team are going to absolutely love him. And you know what? Maybe that was a blessing in disguise. You said, yeah, he was always kind of in the conversation, but then Dusty Baker came in. But he got to really sit behind and learn yeah. hands-on from a legendary manager in Dusty Baker and just see a different different approach, right? He's extremely old school, but he's a player's guy. Yeah. Do it for Dusty when they won the World Series is what everyone was talking about. To be a part of that and then to not only be a part of the development and the, the growth of this team just adds to everything that Joe is going to be able to utilize now that he's in the big seat yeah. and he's in charge. Yeah, so. I, I do think the sitting behind Dusty Baker is huge, it's obviously, huge. because Dusty's not the biggest analytical guy in the world, obviously, an old school guy. But to, to sit behind Dusty and A.J. Hinch, who I, is one of the better younger managers in the game. So to sit behind A.J. Hinch during the, the beginning of this run and then to sit behind Dusty Baker during the last few years, I, I think you get two very good managers that do things two very different ways. Yep. And I think he's going to benefit from that greatly. Yeah, no, this is going to be fun to see how it all pans out. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, Join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.